going. <laughs> it well, is... I guess it's uh, it's the adrenaline pumping through your blood, right? It is. It really is. Now, how close is this runner? At this point, we're not sure of the name, but we're going to find out. How close is the runner to uh, Nina Chen? R we can see right now. We can see right now just on uh, Davis, just about to uh, enter Leslie Street. And we're going to see her in seconds once this uh, van pulls by that is housing some of the personnel involved with the torch relay. And there she is right there on the other side. Or he is, shall I say. And it's just incredible that this uh, torch is going to make its way across Canada, as we keep saying, 45,000 kilometers over 100 different modes of transportation. And we've caught uh, quite a bit of it by foot. Well, there's a proud torch bearer. And family will be watching. We are going to find out who that was because it's such a special moment. We want to be able to say his name. He has quite a, 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 a burned torch, if you will. You know, we've become experts now. Some of them are a little more uh, sizzled than others. <laughs> and there is Nina Chan <laughs> doing the do si -do. Can we get you for a second? Hey, sir, we've been wondering such a magical moment. What's your name? Leith Nakash. Pardon me? Leith Nakash. Leith Nakash, and how would you describe that experience? Uh, wasn't totally amazing. Uh, just being in the bus, people cheering me was just incredible. How did you get involved with the, with the uh, torch relay? Uh, Coca-Cola, they had uh, two spots uh, ready for uh, the company I work for. So I wrote an essay and I, uh, about the environment and the impact on the Olympics, and I won the spot. And who was the first person you called when you, when you found that you won? Oh, I, I was just totally like, <laughs> I, I couldn't believe it because my store manager came to me and he's like, what did you do to me? I'm like, what did I do to you? <laughs> I didn't do anything. <laughs> and then uh, he pretty much, he's like, you won. <laughs> you won the, the Olympic torch barrier. I'm like, you're kidding me. And I, I couldn't believe it. It just was totally incredible moments for me. Uh, being on the bus, people cheering me all around, it's it just uh, that I will never forget. <laughs> do you have family and friends here perhaps yeah, watching? I do. I have my uh, family, like my mom, my nephew, niece, uh, and my sister. They are around. They okay. just were around. Okay, and... well, go find them. I'm okay. glad you got to do that. A really exciting experience. And uh, as you can see, the excitement keeps mounting right now. And it's back to you. Oh, I'm so glad that you got to speak to <laughs> Leith Nakash. And uh, Luis Russo lit his uh, torch. And Leith uh, then went on to light Nina Chen's torch. And it's uh, all about uh, the people there and the people watching. And all of us uh, here through the torch cam and all of our uh, gang on the ground and in the air. It's like you're right there. And what a pleasure. Uh, they we're going to continue to track the journey of uh, the Olympic torch in just moments. Uh, we're going to go live right now to Ken Reed, uh, who's also caught Olympic fever. What are you doing, Ken? Hey, Ann. Yeah, we're here at the Magnus Center in Newmarket. I tell you, this Olympic torch is the biggest rock star in Canada right now. It shows up, it hits the road, it takes off. Well, it showed up here about an hour and a half ago. You just pan across this parking lot. It's pretty much deserted, but about an hour and a half ago, an hour ago, there were hundreds, if not thousands of people here to see the torch. Claire Kowalchuk took it to the stage here at the Magnus Center. It was a real emotional time for a lot of people. Claire she is battling cancer right now. There were a lot of tears in the crowd. She took it up on the stage. The place went wild. One of the great things about this whole experience, at least for the people carrying the torches, they all get to know each other almost instantly. They get on the bus together. They share their stories. Well, one of the people on the bus with Claire, one of her fellow torchbearers, was Sheldon Kennedy, the former NHLer. We all know his story about the turmoil he went through in his National Hockey League career. Well, Sheldon got on the bus. He met Claire. They shared their stories. Everybody knows who Sheldon Kennedy is. A lot of people don't know who Claire Kowalchuk is, but Sheldon Kennedy now knows her. He gives us his thoughts on her story. Oh, it's wicked. I mean, we were, uh, you know, you, you, we, when we all got together as torchbearers this morning, you know, everybody kind of shuffled in and, and the excitement just built. And especially to watch Claire carry that torch at the end was unbelievable. You know, everybody knew each other's stories going into this. So um, it was just such a great honor. And I couldn't have picked a better person than Claire to, to run this last leg of the race. No, they couldn't have picked the better person. And Claire said today's experience, it really lifted up her spirits as she continues to battle cancer. I tell you, and this was an awesome experience. I mean, I'm supposed to be, you know, an objective guy who's, you know, he's supposed to be objective and kind of stay away from the story. But it's hard not to get into this. I mean, the happiness we saw out here, it's just contagious. 
The torch, it's done with the Magna Center here in New America, but as you saw, it's back on the road and continues to thrill people, and we'll keep track of it all afternoon long. John and I, we're going to head out of here and hit our next town as the torch continues its tour across Canada. Ken Reed, thank you very much for that. And we will continue our torch coverage uh, when we speak with Stephen LeDrew next on CP24 Live at Noon. CP24 Weather. A detailed look at the weather forecast. We go to CP24's Nalini Sharma. Well, what a fantastic couple of days that we've had weather-wise. I would say, yes, even though we've been below seasonal and quite cold, uh, it's very fitting that we've had this kind of weather to remind us all about our Olympic spirit. Now, the rest of your Friday afternoon, you're probably getting ready to maybe head out to a torch run somewhere throughout the GTA into your community, your neighborhood. However, it's still going to remain quite cold and we do have a tiny bit of flurry activity that's just tracking through, uh, especially down towards uh, south of the 401. Nothing that's accumulating, but just good to make a, a note of that. Definitely not going to affect your drive home this afternoon. Here's the rest of your weekend forecast. Temperatures still below seasonal. Saturday, we are looking at a little bit of light flurry activity accumulating I'd say maybe at about two centimeters or so. So not a whole lot, but just enough to remind us that winter is just around the corner. Technically speaking, winter arrives at 12.47 p.m. on Monday. Uh, just before that, on our Sunday, we've got some sunshine, minus two. A little bit of uh, accumulation Monday with, again, some wraparound flurry activity. No major snowstorm. And Tuesday, we've got breezy winds and some sunshine temperatures just shy of the freezing mark. So that's a quick check on your five-day forecast. The rest of your uh, Friday, a little bit on the cloudy side. Still breezy and wind chills dancing around the minus 10 mark. CP24 Traffic. Traffic live and in detail. Let's go to Amber Pay. Hi, Amber. Hello there, Anne. With great news, uh, service has resumed on the GO Train Georgetown line. There was a gas leak just west of the Etobicoke North Station. Uh, investigators have resolved that situation. So GO letting us know that uh, they are going to start service back up again. So again, go to uh, GoTransit.com to make sure uh, your train is uh, good to go. We'll take a look at the major routes now and show you the Don Valley Parkway. Already busy. Northbound out of the downtown core for Friday afternoon. Anywhere from approaching Eglinton up to the 401 and southbound. Still busy heading into the downtown core. We'll take a look at the 401 eastbound across the top and it remains a busy one through Dixon Martin Grove over towards the 400 where we had some earlier problems but they have cleared out of the way for quite some time. Now leaving the downtown core. A few more cars as expected past the Spadina area and continues over towards Strawn and towards the Jamison area as well. And again, heading to the uh, Humber as well. Everybody wants to get out of the downtown core early for a Friday, and who can blame them? The QEW still looking at delays both directions, just around the Burlough and Trafalgar area. And Amber, thank you. You're welcome. It's 1248, minus four, and there's a bit of sunshine out there. This is Toronto's breaking news at CP24, live at noon. The Olympic flame, boy, it's on the move. Here's a live shot from Chopper 24 of the flame in Newmarket. There we go. <laughs> and we're gonna tell you where it's headed next. Every child loves getting a toy for the holidays. But when you give a financial donation to the CP24 Chum Christmas Wish, you ensure that teens and young adults also have something to smile about. A gift for children of all ages. That's making a difference. Now you can make a difference too. Leave a new unwrapped toy or financial donation at 299 Queen Street West or any RBC Royal Bank in the GTA. Or go to cp24.com for more details. No, I did. I got, I got it wrong. I got it wrong. It's on my list. I, I got the... the Do we pack the cat? Yeah, we, I, we have the cat. The cat. Honey, I think I really need to make lane change here. Okay. No! Oh, the road is full of bad drivers. But you're not one of them. If you're 50 and over with a good driving record, you should be rewarded for your years of experience on the road. And this is why you can save up to $400 per year on your car insurance through Grey Power. Ensure your car and your home through Great Power. You could save even more. <laughs> <laughs> we can't make the bad drivers go away. 
but we can reward the good ones like you. If you're 50 and over with a good driving record, you have earned the right to save through Great Power's Experience Advantage. To see how much Great Power can save you, call us at 1-800-227-5050.